It had been 20 years since the NBA had seen a trade involving so many players, but it had been 57 years since the league had seen a team willing to go so small for so long. When the Rockets traded their lone productive big man to the Atlanta Hawks, a lot of people might have scratched their heads in confusion. After all, the Lakers and Bucks have gotten bigger and longer, and clearly Daryl Morey wants to compete with them for titles. But a closer look at the numbers they value so much might just explain why they had to do this trade. Clint Capella has been a double-double machine for three seasons now, and the anchor of a defense whose mediocre defensive rating would plunge even lower without him. However, one look at some of the deep stats, and you can see why Daryl Morey felt the need to pull the trigger on a trade. With Capella in street clothes for 11 games this year, the Rockets won 10 of them, including big wins over Indiana, Miami, Utah, and Dallas, and that's just the beginning of the issues. When he was on court, the offensive rating would drop 5.8 points. More importantly, as Russ has found his offensive groove the last 12 games, the difference when Capella was on the floor dropped over 11 points in offensive rating. His role in the offense has radically changed this year, setting fewer and fewer ball screens, negating the vertical spacing he used to give them as a slammer downer of lob passes. As a result, he spends his time in the dunker spot on the weak side near the rim and it allows his man to help out on plenty of drives. With zero spacing as a shooting threat, he became an albatross weighing the offense down. Oh, and while defensive rating for individual players is all sorts of noisy, I can bet Morey was looking at his on-court effect on this number, and if you go back the last three seasons, you can see his effect has been negligible despite his ability to block shots and rebound. Among starting centers this year, his defense of the opponent's field goal percentage in the restricted area has skyrocketed to over 65%. The dirty little secret is that since he became the starter, this percentage has always been way higher than the top starting centers. You would think putting Russ, Harden, Eric Gordon, P.J. Tucker, and Capella together would be their best lineup. In fact, this was their third most played lineup and it was getting blown out every time they got on the floor together. With these numbers in mind, you might wonder what took Morey so long to trade him. And perhaps there's another reason why he's on his way to Atlanta. Maybe he wasn't fresh enough in the lower shorts region. And that's where our sponsor Manscaped comes in. The only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. The Perfect Package Essential Kit comes with their brand new lawnmower 3.0 trimmer and just as importantly, the Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Refreshing Spray. Maybe Capella would still be on the Rockets had he been using Manscaped, you know? After 18 plus months of research and development, the Lawnmower 3.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology, extended battery life up to 90 minutes, and a diamond textured no slip grip handle with an extremely useful LED light that illuminates the areas of your body that rarely get sunlight. I couldn't get over how great the 3.0 is, and I use it everywhere. The new and improved Perfect Package 3.0 kit includes the cordless and waterproof lawnmower 3.0, anti-chafing boxers, perhaps another reason Capella had to go, and a luxury travel bag, since Clint is already on the road heading to the Hawks. As a subscriber to Manscaped, you get 20% savings instantly on your order and a new replacement blade refill delivered to your door every three months. Get 20% off and free shipping of your Perfect Package 3.0 kit when you use my code BBALL20 at manscaped.com. And if you do, I promise you won't get traded to another team because you're not working well enough with the four best players on the roster. However, it's not like those four guys were doing awesome without Capella. When Tucker went to center, that four-man lineup was in negative territory in net rating. Plugging in guys like House, Rivers, and McMamore simply wasn't working well either. So it would make sense that a change was necessary, and setting their sights on Robert Covington appears to be a pretty good solution. First off, he has some ability to shoot the three ball. 
There have been stretches where he's tantalized us with almost elite shooting from back there, but he's never fulfilled that promise. And I have no doubt Mike D'Antoni is convinced that in his space and chuck offense, he'll improve. Most of Covington's threes come on the catch-and-shoot variety, perfect for the one-two onslaught that is James Harden and Russell Westbrook, who simply ask their teammates to wait patiently until they pass them the ball and send up those missiles. However, he has shown some improvement putting the ball on the deck and releasing shots in the lane. This has been a struggle for guys like Rivers, so if Covington can give them even a little boost in production in this area off the dribble, the Rockets will be very happy. But that's only part of the package. While their team defense has never been elite, there was a moment back in 1718 when they had a few defensive-minded players and their defensive rating vaulted into the top seven. Covington brings that same mindset to the defensive end, and he's going to need it, folks. If he's going to be part of a lineup with Tucker at center, don't be surprised to see Covington pick up the other team's big man off of rotations and switches. And you know what? He's tough down there. He can hold his position against stronger players, and he's got some of the fastest hands in the league. If a big man thinks he's got an easy lane off a spin, Covington has a real penchant for knocking the ball away from behind. He can be the defensive stopper this team has been desperate for on the wing, willing to guard the other team's best player, and his ability to make them work for it puts him at the top of the list for perimeter defenders in the NBA. It remains to be seen if the Lakers will destroy them on the offensive glass or if the Rockets would be more than happy to trade twos for threes and walk away with a victory. But the clock is ticking for everybody in Houston, as it always seems to be, and they haven't been able to solve the puzzle that is fitting the pieces around James Harden properly. Perhaps the solution requires getting out of the box, or in this case, making the box much smaller. Will it work? Depends on what your definition of success is. Can they maintain their spot in the middle of the pack in the West? Sure. Will that mean they'll make a deep run in the playoffs? I can still see them playing Rudy off the floor in a potential first round matchup against the Jazz and not getting hurt with Tucker at center. But that sets them up for a second round series against the tallest front court in the league. And wouldn't you know it, we'll get some answers when these two teams face off tonight. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to B-Ball Breakdown so you can get alerted right away when we drop a new video. This season will be filled with incredible content, so don't miss it. You in?